Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi, How are you? Hello. Fine, teacher. And you? Oh, great. Thanks for asking. You know, pretty busy, but always like motivated. That is something important. You know, sometimes there are some days that are very, very challenging because you have uh, different things to do, different responsibilities. And uh, the most important is the level of organization we have. If we are organized, if we can deal with the things, we can be successful and achieve different goals. You know, I, I'm, I'm a very, very uh, busy person. You know, also the level of organization is a very important strategy to me because that can help you to give some steps. So you get the steps, you know what to do, you're working what you have to do, and that's very nice. Especially when learning a language, we have to be very strategical in what we do, right? So that is a very vital. So let's um, start the class. Welcome to everyone. And also... Congratulations for those who always come on time. I know that you are available and you also can join the class in a best way. So that is very necessary to do. So before that we start, I just want to know about what we started. What do you remember we did? What we did? Who wants to help me to, to remember what we started? I need a volunteer. Okay, someone, someone who wants to tell me what we studied yesterday, what do you remember? Comparative adjective, superlative, comparative adjective, superlative, eso me recuerdo que estuvimos viendo. Okay, that's okay, and um, that's good, right? Uh, also, the comparative adjectives, and um, we were like trying to work it some sentences. I saw that you could identify the the comparative adjectives, and you work with some exercises about it, and that is definitely good, right? That is uh, definitely important, right? So we can check that one. Uh, no sé si me escuchan bien o no me escuchan bien. No sé si ustedes me dicen. Sí, se escucha bien. Okay, thank you much. All right, so that's one of the ways we can also try with this one. Um, yeah, so also, as I said before, um, congratulations because most of you are here to study English. The responsibility, it's necessary. And um, especially when learning a language. I have seen many cases in which students, they start studying English after one or two months, they quit. They don't continue studying English because they say that it's difficult, because they don't have an advance. But English is a process. Every time is a process. You have to go step by step. You have to learn new words, new vocabulary, because it's a language. And it's a little bit complex for many people. But the patient, the motivation, it's necessary. And I'm pretty sure that well, most of you are here, like, you know, trying to learn. Most of you have a, a, a knowledge of English, and that is strategical. But perhaps there are some students who say, es que siento que me cuesta, siento que es difícil, eh, no sé, siento que no. Es, es un proceso, right? Y en ese proceso, media vez usted pasa de eso, ya el inglés es mucho más fácil. Ya cuando se llega a pasar de nivel básico e intermedio, pues es mucho más fácil, y las cosas hasta se ven mejor. Pero hay personas que no pasan de ese nivel básico, entonces se desmotivan y se salen de las clases. Pero este, agregarle un poquito más, yo les pregunto, ¿creen ustedes que en uno o dos meses, ya la, las personas en uno o dos meses ya quieren hablar inglés? ¿Sí o no? ¿Yes or not? 
sí. Ya, yeah, people yeah. Y a mí me, me, a mí me, me sorprende eh, a lo largo de mis 16 años de dar clases. Y de repente, no, ya no quiero seguir. ¿Y qué pasó? Es que siento que no avanzo. ¿Cuántos meses tienes que aprender? Tres meses. Por Dios, si es un idioma. O sea, no es un, algo que te vas a aprender. Es un idioma. Entonces requiere un proceso. Pero si tú buscas, if you look for the process, if you try every time, you will be successful in what you do. And you cannot just learn one language. You can learn one, two, three, four languages. And that is what people forget, that they need magically in two or three months to learn a language that requires some time for people. But you have to go step by step in motivation. I know that sometimes could be difficult, that at the beginning could be challenging, but you can do it. You can try and then have fun when you do. Hoy en, aprender inglés es mucho más fácil. It's easier in comparison to many years ago. Cuando yo aprendí inglés, no teníamos los recursos que tenemos ahora, que we have electronic information, we have applications, we have programs, we have online conferences, so it's easier. When I learned English, it was uh, very, very different, and we didn't have too many resources that we have now, uh, platforms to have online classes, so we didn't have that in the past. So nowadays, it's like easier to learn, and also you can do that, right? Okay, so let's begin with the class. And also, you were saying that we started the comparative adjectives, right? And I'm just going to give you a short, uh, uh, you know, feedback about this one. We worked in um, adjectives and short adjectives. I have a question. What can I do to uh, make an adjective comparative? What, what I need to add to an adjective to make it comparative? How can I transform or how can I form an adjective to make it comparative? What do I need to add to the adjective? More. More, yes, okay. We add more to the adjective to make it comparative. But what kind of adjectives I will add more? How many syllables? One syllable. Two, two or three. more syllables. Yeah, three and more syllables. Two. We use more, more dangerous, more interesting, more intelligent, more attractive, more amazing. But um, what is the other form to make the adjective comparative? Yes. What is the other form to do it? Add er when the adjective is uh, one syllable. Exactly, one or two syllables. Great job. So when the adjective is small, we add er at the end of the adjective to make it comparative. Exactly, like easier, faster, closer, bigger, taller, hotter, colder. So that's in that way. So we can also use in the best way this one. Yeah, you are right, you got it. And um, look at this one. So in that case, what we had to do because it's part of the activity is that you have to um, complete these sentences using the appropriate comparative adjective. So you can see here in the chat, in uh, this part, one second, one second. Can you see the, um, can you see the presentation? Let me, let me yes. submit yes. one second, one second. Okay, I will share this picture to the group. Okay, so I'm sending you to the group. So look at the chat because you will see this presentation and also I sent the presentation with, with PowerPoint so you can also see this exercise. Okay, so I will give you a couple of minutes to complete this exercise. You had to uh, comparative adjectives exercise. Fill in the gaps with the comparative or superlative forms of the adjectives in brackets. So we have dangerous, we have famous, etc. So we're going to try to use this one to complete it. All right. Is that okay? Okay. 
Okay. Let's do it. All right. Good luck and try to concentrate on that. Look at the chat. Look at the presentation. And also, I will be checking here some students who join us in the class. We are nowadays 19 connected. So successfully connected here. So let's start. I will give you a couple of minutes and then we will share the answers together.
Okay, if you have uh, questions or doubts, you have a freedom to ask, and I will be more than glad to help you. Also, if you, well, um, are ready, please say, teacher, I am ready. I ready, teacher. Ready. Fantastic, thank you. Someone else says ready too? Ready. Let's do it. I am ready. All right, so let's see the practice so you can help me with this part. The first one, okay, who wants to help me with the first one? Hi, teacher. Sharks are more dangerous than lions. Do you agree? Do you agree or disagree? Agree. Agree, right? Yeah, so we hope not see these animals, but we agree with that. Thank you. Number two, more dangerous. That's the one. Number two, Will and Shakespeare. Me? Yes. William, William Shakespeare is more famous than Christopher Marlowe. Marlowe? Marlowe. Is um more sorry? famous. Yeah, it's, it's more famous. What do you think, students? Is more famous or not? Yes. 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 Okay, do you know about uh, Christopher Marlowe? Do you know about this person? No, I don't know. No, I don't. No, I don't know who he is. He. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, number three, volunteer. Henry is more absent minded than his sister. Okay, so the word says more absent-minded. In this case, we have we have a compound word because it's a combination of two of two words. In that case, we're using more because it's um, longer. So in that case, that's correct. So that is a good example. Thank you so much. Number four. Tom is more selfish here than David. Okay, it's more selfish. Questions are, do you consider selfie, selfish students or not? Not. No, not selfish. Okay. No. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Don't be selfish. Dependent. That's okay. Number five, volunteer. Next, number five. He is farther than he used to be last year. Well, then, then he used to be, so he's fatter. Okay, that's good. You can also check the chat to confirm the answer here. Number uh, six, right? Six. What's the number six? Andrew seems to be slimmer than he was two months ago. So you say slimmer, right? Slimmer. 
Okay, so this is also a new word too. We're talking about slimmer. And definitely that you can see um, the comparative that we say slimmer, como decir más delgado, right? So it's a comparative. So slimmer. Yes. And also you can appreciate here the example. So look at the chat. That's the way, number seven. What's hey, that? Teacher. Yes? Uh, Walt is more impatient than he used to be when he, wa when he was younger. So Walt is, I'm sorry, is uh -huh, impatient, is more? He used to be when he was younger. Okay. When he was, yeah, that's okay. When he was younger and um are, do you consider impatient students sometimes sometimes no. no you can control yourself or no it's difficult i mean i'm impatient when i'm waiting someone and this person doesn't come up and you are like wow 20 minutes 30 minutes and the person doesn't go with you that is doesn't come and you're like, oh my God, I'm a little impatient. That happens. Because people are punctual. They are always on time somewhere. Number eight. Number eight. Our town is more attractive than Manchester. Okay. Number nine. Great job. Number nine. Tone is more impulsive than his elder brother. Okay, it's more impulsive. Okay, that's good. Nice. Number 10. This poem is more pathetic than any other poem I read. It's more pathetic. Okay. Well, look at the context of this sentence, but that's okay. In number 11. Your house is more beautiful in my mom. Mm -hmm. It's more beautiful. And number 12. His room is darker than yours. Darker. Okay, that's right. So congratulations. You could um, write this statements in a natural way. Uh, my, my recommendation is try practice statements like this one because the goal is to be very national. When you practice and practice, practice, that becomes very national, right? So that's one of the things that we did as a backup. So this activity is a backup. So you remember some things about it. Yesterday also, just to conclude the class, we compare uh, the newspaper prices, the cup of coffee in El Salvador, the CD and the paperback book. So we were comparing in, about the prices because in the United States, there are some prices of things are very cheap than in El Salvador. But at the same time, there are some prices that are higher in comparison to El Salvador. Okay, also we just studied the rules. Estudiamos un poquito las reglas. ¿verdad? Hablábamos acerca del, del used and etc. Okay, we have an article that we just have here. The world's online marketplace. And we're talking about eBay. Después de esto, uh, vamos a completar, vamos a leer el artículo y vamos a responder las preguntas. Luego va a escribir, in that case, the number of paragraphs where you find each answer. Uh, how many people use eBay? ¿Cuántas personas usan eBay? What do people think about eBay? ¿Qué piensan las personas de eBay? How do you sell items on eBay? ¿Cómo eh, las personas venden los, los productos en eBay? ¿De qué manera lo hacen? Y ahí vemos, por ejemplo, what is eBay, que es, según el artículo, 
Or can you shop on eBay? ¿Dónde, eh, ¿dónde puedes comprarlo? eBay. Y what can you buy and sell on eBay? ¿Y qué es lo que tú puedes eh, vender y comprar? Entonces, ese es el artículo. Está a poner a dónde encuentra esa información. Luego dice, find these statements in the article, which are facts, which are opinions, and check facts or opinion. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything. eBay is more popular than any other shopping sites. Y ahí vemos si es verdad o es opinión. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything. eBay is more popular than any other shopping sites. The person, the person who beats uh, the most money gets to buy the item. El que tiene pues, más dinero pues se queda con el producto. Selling on eBay is easy. It's a factor and opinion. And the traditional way to shop is better. Eh, eso es lo que vamos a investigar en, el, en la lectura. ¿Sí? Vamos a, a leerla y usted va a tener un espacio para poder responder con su grupo esta información. ¿Yes? Ok. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm going to uh, take a picture of this one to the chat because you will be working in a small groups. Um, for those techniques... It's a good way to, to learn because we are exposed to reading vocabulary. You can also use a dictionary. ¿Quiénes de ustedes tienen algún diccionario virtual en su teléfono o en, o en línea? ¿Tienen ustedes algún traductor o algún diccionario online? Sí, ocupo una aplicación. Ok. Y, y ya la trae. Por ahí les voy a compartir en el chat una unos diccionarios para que les pueda servir en las clases. All right, so we go with that. One second. Um, sorry. Okay, this is what I want to share with you. This is the article, and I'm just going to read it because it's important to know about this article. Much better to me. Veamos de qué se trata. The world's online marketplace, eBay. Check the statements you think are true, then scan the article to check your answers. eBay is a place to buy and sell things. You can make friends on eBay. Everyone likes eBay. So look at this one. I'm going to read it and I'm going to record it for you guys so you can also get this the pronunciation. Do you like shopping online? Do you like finding a bargain or a good buy? Then eBay is for you. eBay is the world's online marketplace. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything. With over 18 million members, eBay is more popular than any other shopping sites on the internet. People trade millions of different things on eBay's website, from cars to electronic to musical instruments. Here's how it works. A member puts an advertisement on for an item on the website. Other members bid or offer money for the item. The person who bids the most money gets to buy the item. Then the seller sends the item to the buyer. Selling on eBay is easy, says Mike Stock. He's the owner of a company that sells used computers. And, and he adds, I make friends on eBay. I think it's a very friendly place, but some people don't like it. I think the traditional way to shop is better, says Jenny Fan, a student. I want to touch things, not to see a picture of them. But whether you like it or not, eBay is here to stay. There are now eBay users in the United States, Europe, Latin America, China, and many other countries. Soon, people may be able to shop on eBay anywhere in the world. Look at this. Wow, it's, it's a very interesting article. So because uh, people buy the things and they trade things with eBay. Have you have you tried the, the service of eBay? Mm. 
Yes. Un par de vidrios templados, alguna. Okay, you have gotten some products. Okay, so that's that's cool. Okay, that that's great. Okay, so in this moment, we are going to um, check this information. We're going to work in a small teams. And, and we are going to um, answer in teams this information. Before we go to the breakup rooms, I just want to ask you if you have uh, questions or doubts um, about the vocabulary. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta o duda? Eh, Bid o Bide, no sé cómo se pronuncia, donde dice Other Members. Bid. ¿Qué es Bid? B -I -D. Hello. Yes. Bid, apostar. Yes, that's, that's what we call bid. Yeah, that's right. It's a it's a verb that uh, also is a command or instruction to do something. Especially when you get a product or something you uh, bid, um, apuesta um, a un producto. You can see the product, you see the price, and you start like, I give twenty dollars, I give twenty five dollars. So it's un tipo de licitación, right? Like an offer. So people, most of the time in the United States, they offer it for some products. Uh, obviously for a certain price, for something special. Um, uh, there is another word that people use to say, like this one, auction, look at this. It's this one. Wait, this was a in your chat. This one, oceans. That's the word. Um, una tipo subasta. It's a place where you can also buy products by different prices. The ones who get the higher price wins. Y tenemos advertisement. That advertisement is related to announcement. When you see a publicity about a product, for example, I want to buy hamburg I want to sell hamburgers, and I advertise the hamburgers with pictures, promotions, and everything. That would say in Spanish, como un anuncio. It's an advertisement. Ok, vamos a formar los breakup rooms y vamos a ver esta parte. One second. Ok, vamos a abrir los breakup rooms. Ustedes con su grupo comienzan a socializar las preguntas y luego hacemos un consolidado. Let's do it.
ਕੇ ਫਿਰ ਕਰੇ ਉਹ ਕਿਲਾ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਹੈ ਸਟਾਕ ਬਸ ਨਾ ਸਕੇ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਕਰੋ ਕਿ ਸੀ ਪਰਕੇ ਸੀ ਸੇ ਪੋਏ ਵੈਂਡਰ ਇਕ ਕੰਪਰਾਰ ਕਾ ਸੀ ਤੋ ਓਕੇ ਕਿਲਾ ਸੇ ਉਹ ਲਾਈ ਉਹ ਨਾ ਤੱਕ ਨਾ ਦਾ ਨਾ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੋ ਸੀ ਬੇ ਮੋਟੇ ਪਰਾ ਲੈ ਸੇ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਪਲੇਸ ਅਤੇ ਪਰਸ teacher what, what was the meaning of fact in opinion a uh, fact is uh, something real something uh, stated an opinion is what a person says so a fact is una verdad an opinion okay. is lo que mm -hmm. sugiere okay fact is mucho entonces Sí, ajá, la primera sería fact. La segunda también. La tercera. The person who beats the most money gets to buy the item. La tercera también. Fact. La fourth, creo que sí es opinión. Siding on eBay is easy. Porque, ajá, y es la opinión de cada quien si lo siente fácil o difícil. Sí. Opinión. opinión. Igual creo fact. que la cinco también es opinión. Sí, opinión. Ajá. Ajá, la, ajá, la five. Opinión. Tenemos tres facts y dos opinión. En la que hemos analizado creo que sí. <risa> Solo esas dos partes y vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Very good. We are ready, teacher. Okay, much better. So in a couple of minutes, we will go back to the main session. Thanks. Thank you.
Okay, so, well, we're gonna start. Well, let's check, we're going to close the breakup rooms. Close the room, so let's wait the other classmates to join us in this practice. Let's wait for them. And they will join us right now in the class. So there are valuable information that we can also try. I was talking in, um, you know, the article, it sounds very interesting because we can learn about, um, you know, buying an eBay, buying online for some people could be a little bit risky because they feel like this is not an, so, I mean, it's not confident. So they buy online and they pay online too. And that caused them, cause them a lot of, you know, doubts if they can be robbed or something like that. So let's check now the, the answers you have uh, selected. So you can help me with that one. And look at this. Look at this, look at this, please. Okay, other students are joining right now, so let's wait for them. And they are in this moment, um, we have closed. Look at this, one second. Okay, so help me to compare the answers and what we have here. So we go move this side one second. Doesn't change. All right, so much better with that. Okay, questions for everyone. How many people use eBay? Over 18 million. 18 million members. Okay. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Okay, fantastic. So that's good. So you can see, imagine, that is incredible. And the next one. What do people think about eBay, according to the article? Selling on eBay is easy. Mm -hmm. It's interesting or not? What do you think? And how do you sell items on eBay? How, how do you sell items on eBay? Look at this. People can be able to shop on eBay anywhere in the world. In the world, right? Not just in the United States, could be in El Salvador too, or in Europe. In the world. The world, right? So that is important. Letter D, uh, what is eBay? Website. Is what? Yeah. It's a place to buy and sell almost anything. Excellent. That's right. So you can also buy and sell products, items online. Where can you shop on eBay? Electronics. Paris Electronics to musical instruments. Where? Uh, donde? In the website. Okay, online. Or... In the United States, Europe, Latin America, China, and many other countries. Okay, great. Thank you so much for that. That is interesting. And also, what can you buy and sell on eBay? Uh, 
what can you buy uh, music cars electronic instrument okay great thank you so much and uh, let's see this part b it's a place to buy and sell almost anything is a fact or an opinion Fact. It's fact. fact, right? Because that fact. happens. It's it's not um it's false. It's, it's a fact, right? That's okay. Next one. eBay is more popular than any other shopping sites. What do you think? True. It's fact or an opinion? It's fact. Fact. It's a fact, right? So it's very common. And you help me with that one. Next, number three, um, the person who beats the, the most money gets to buy the item is an opinion or a fact? Fact. Yeah, that is, that is how it works. Selling on eBay is easy or difficult? It's an opinion of Mike. Okay, so in that case, an opinion because we haven't, I mean, used this so we don't know is easy or not because we don't have this experience, but it's an opinion about this person. The traditional way to shop is better or what do you think? It's a fact or an opinion? An opinion. Yeah, because we don't know if for some people it's better uh, another way, right? So that's one of the ways. So have you ever shopped online or no? Have you ever shopped online, students, or you have never tried? Yes, me. And is easy or difficult? Easy. Is this secure? It's easy. Secure. What? Teacher, pongo otra vez la el cuadrito. What? So the first three is a uh, fact and the last no, one, no, no. <laughs> and the last ones of uh, four and five are opinions. Selling on eBay is easy, is an opinion. And also the traditional way to shop is better, is an opinion too. And one, two, and three are facts. Yes? So it's important, right? Some people, they don't trust buy online because uh, uh, there could be some scammers that people who... As we say in Spanish, estafan a otras personas. So that's why it's a little bit not so good for some people, right? Well, we will check the attendance list right now. Vamos a pasar la lista de asistencia. Y pues usted me dice en present. Vamos a ver. Nueve. Eh, Ana Isela Llanes. Ana. Eh, Ana Ruth Pérez. Present. Eh, Carlos Ernesto Flores. Present. Eh, David Alejandro Rodríguez. Here. David Rafael Ramos. David Rafael Ramos. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Present. Eric Javier Ventura. Present. Ok. Fiorella Alejandra Crespin. Fiorella Alejandra Crespin. Eh, Gerardo José Tepas. Gerardo. Henry Alejandro. ¿Quién? ¿Quién dijo I'm here? ¿Está Gerardo? No está. Yes, I'm here. Ok. Um, Henry Alejandro Flores. Present. Eh, Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Ingrid. Jorge Francisco López. Present. Juana Margarita Sea. Buena. 
Sí, hermano. La cosa es el molino. ¿Bueno? En el chat. En ok, el... thank you. No sé si me pueden decir, ya que no Pero puedo ver el chat en este momento. Gracias. Teacher, teacher, en el chat escribió David Ramos, Laura Peña y Juana Sea. Eh, David Ramos. ¿Cómo le llaman ese lugar? Laura Peña y Juana. Juana Sea. Ok, gracias. Y es que acá no lo, no lo visualizo. Muchas gracias. Teacher. Hi. A mí ya me pasó la, a mí ya me pasó la lista, pero se me había desconectado el internet, entonces por eso me salí a la Isela. Ok, ya. Yeah. Primera. Yes, una mujer puso uno. That's okay, thank you. Thank you. Micrófono, micrófono. Right. And Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Okay. Eh, Pueden apagar micrófonos. Que se sí, sí, de que son las que. Ok, vamos a ver. I'm checking here the attendance. Eh, Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Present teacher. Thank you. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Mirna Yasmin Portillo. Present. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Reina um, Jael Arevalo. Present. Ok, Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Wendy Lisette Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, students, thank you so much for staying in the class. We have learned a lot. So I hope to see you tomorrow. So have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you tomorrow. Good thank night. Thank you. Good night, you too. You. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.